Setting one foot on its surface would cause your skin to burn off. Yikes! In this video, we will go over the consequences of any individual who accidentally fell into Jupiter would have to deal with. With the world's billionaires revealing plans to colonize Mars and send people to the moon on their vacations, you really have to start thinking, is there a limit to how much humans can occupy space? A new planet comes with an entirely new habitat and circumstances circumstances, most of which are extremely harsh for human survival. Consider Jupiter as an example. To put it lightly, the planet is a ball of liquid hydrogen. Even in the 21st century, the thought of outer space is terrifying and uncertain for the human race. Sure, we've conquered the moon ages ago, and Mars isn't all that different from Earth, but what about other planets? Well, one thing's for sure. If humans do try and expand their existence on other planets, Jupiter is definitely going to give them a hard time. In this video, we're talking about what would happen if you fell into Jupiter, one of the two gas giants in our solar system. Jupiter is a huge planet. To put things into perspective, experts believe that about 1300 Earth-sized planets can easily fit inside Jupiter. But as great as that sounds, it really might never be possible. Why? Well, because Jupiter is a planet full of liquid metallic hydrogen on the inside, making it impossible for anyone to set foot inside any of its layers, unless they want their skin to melt off. This molten metal obviously means that the temperature in Jupiter is higher than you can ever imagine, even on its outermost surface. At the same time, experts have found out that Jupiter isn't a solid planet at all. That's right, it's made completely out of gas. The hydrogen and lithium gas that surrounds Jupiter will make you feel like you fell onto the fluffiest cloud in the world if you ever fell inside Jupiter, minus the burning hot temperature and the toxicity of the gases. Of course, the planet has no oxygen at all, so make sure to take your oxygen tanks with you if you ever plan on diving deep into this gas giant. Unlike the Earth, Jupiter has no outer solid crust that could break your fall. The entire planet is made entirely out of its gaseous atmosphere, which means that there's also a possibility that once you fall into Jupiter, you might never stop falling at all. But wait, wouldn't you eventually reach the end of the planet and fall out of it? Well, experts believe that's not possible at all. While Jupiter isn't as unlike the Earth as ever, the one thing the planet does have in common with our world is its gravitational field. As you enter the top of the atmosphere, you'll start free-falling at 110,000 miles per hour under the pull of Jupiter's gravity. And while there's no crust to stop you, the lower you go, the denser the atmosphere will be. But at the same time, it won't be solid enough to slow you down. Jupiter also holds the record for being the fastest rotating planet in our solar system. About three minutes into the fall, you might start feeling these rotations when you're at a depth of 155 miles. Jupiter's clouds create powerful winds that go up to a speed of 300 miles per hour, making you feel like you're caught in a tornado. One day on the planet is equal to 9.5 Earth hours because of these unbelievably fast rotations. If you go 75 miles below that, that's the limit to how much humans have been able to explore Jupiter. The Galileo spacecraft is one of the few man-made objects to have touched the Jovian atmosphere. On September 21st, 2003, it plunged into the planet at a speed of 30 miles per second. However, the spacecraft remained in contact with the Earth for about 58 minutes after, which no one ever heard of it ever again. It was as if the probe just vanished inside Jupiter's atmosphere. However, experts believe that after a point, the atmospheric pressure being exerted on the spacecraft must have been too much, resulting in the Galileo probe being crushed to destruction. So will humans ever be able to defeat this insane pressure to go and unravel the mysteries that lie within this strange planet? Before we talk about that, give this video a big thumbs up if you've liked it so far, and comment below to let 
let us know what you want to see next. Alright, let's get back to the video. So, considering everything that happened to the Galileo spacecraft, it's safe to say that if the spacecraft can't go beyond this point, humans won't be able to either. But just for curiosity's sake, if you were able to make it further, you would find yourself losing all vision because the sun's light will gradually start fading away. At the same time, when you're this deep inside the planet's atmosphere, there will be absolutely no way for you to communicate with the outside world because the deeper you go, the more resistant the atmosphere is on Jupiter, to the point where it stops absorbing radio waves, which means that phones, computers and radios, nothing will work here no matter how hard you try. At the same time, the lower you go, the hotter the temperature. Once you've covered a distance of 2,500 miles, the temperature inside Jupiter reaches about 6,100 degrees Fahrenheit. And to put things into perspective, the maximum temperature that the human body can can survive is 108 degrees Fahrenheit, and even that's pushing it. After a very, very long time of falling through ever greater pressure and heat, there's no longer complete darkness. The atmosphere is now warm enough that it begins to glow, red hot at first, then yellow hot, and finally white hot. When you reach this point, you would have been falling for about 12 hours, but at the same time, you wouldn't even have covered half of the planet. At 30 15,000 miles deep, you will finally reach the centre of Jupiter, and the pressure of the atmosphere here is about 2 million times stronger than that of Earth. The temperature here is so high that it actually changes the composition of hydrogen present in this layer, forming metallic hydrogen, which makes up the inside of the entire planet, like we talked about in the beginning of the video. When you move further down, you will only be falling into an abyss of ammonium clouds and hydrogen gas gas that's now denser than ever, making you feel like you're almost swimming rather than falling. Speaking of density, if you're still able to go through all this and travel deeper, the metallic hydrogen and the planet's own gravitational pull creates a buoyancy force, which means that your body is now resisting the gravitational pull because the buoyancy keeps shooting you upward, but at the same time, the gravitational pull keeps pulling you back down, creating a push and pull situation that will never end. When these two forces are equal, all you'll be able to do is free float between them with no way to move up or down, putting a rather sad end to your journey through Jupiter. That's a wrap for what would happen if you fell into Jupiter. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. See you next time with some new content. Until then, bye!